Darren Sammy is doing something right and we cannot ignore the valuable effort of the coach because the coach is a gel. He's, he's bringing the, the team together. We have Shea Hope, Nicholas Puran and Ravman Paul on the same team. For a lot of people over, throughout the Caribbean, they would be saying that we already have a captain in Nicholas Puran. Why do we need any of these guys? <laughs> Welcome again to the night where it's okay to be curious, like, share and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. Five match series, T20 International, West Indies versus England. And once again, the West Indies gave us something to cheer about. West Indies are now up 2-0, 2 nil in a five match series against England. T20 World Champions, West Indies, they are putting up a resurgence and in a tail of what we would say is two totally different games in the first game West Indies won they bowled first and they won now in a second game the West Indies they bat first and they won and it was similar totals at first we were trying to figure out what would the batting team look like what kind of team we re do we really have what what kind of what would be a good test or a good measure of the West Indies batting lineup today we didn't I can't say we got a very good look or a very good glance of what the batting team look like but we saw Brandon King in action Brandon King is the opening batsman for the West Indies and he opened he started out I didn't really watch the exact flow of the match but I was able to watch along and the Brandon King he made a man of the match performance 82 from 52 Brandon King and Ravman Powell, the captain, they both made half centuries. And you know, in T20, half centuries are, is like a century. So again, once again, the captain is showing up big for his team. And he's showing why he got that, uh, that responsibility as a captain. Now, Brandon King faced 52 balls with four, um, eight fours and five sixes with a strike rate of 157. This was not necessarily one of West Indies team best batting performance. So we did not get a good measure of the West Indies batting performance today. We only had four batsmen who was able to get into the double figure with Brandon King getting 82, Kyle Myers getting 17 runs from 16 balls, only hitting two fours and a six. Nicholas Puran once again with the bat, he had a, 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 a dismal day. He scored five runs from five balls, one four, a strike rate of a hundred. Shea Hope, not so much. The, the, the smooth operator that he wants that match together for the West Indies like in the first one but it was enough he went out there he made one run he came back in and this is one thing we have to give West Indies credit for the West Indies if you notice when they don't make a lot of runs they also don't use up a lot of balls you have to take a look at that and give them their credit where it is due the batsmen are rotating the strike are they are coming in and going out because we all know that the West Indies are batting from one all the way to nine um, in this one Shimran Etmaya once again he failed with the bat if he used five balls to make two runs but he did not he did not hold up the match he did not stay there trying to have a one day innings Ravman Powell on the other hand he was more of a aggressive batsman on the day using 28 balls to make a flat 50 three fours Five sixes, strike rate 178. Again, he's among the, the highest strike rate in the inning in the team. Andre Russell, not the didn't have the best match with the ball, with the bat or the ball actually, but he got 14 runs. He want, he's one of the four who got in double figure. He got 14 from 10, hitting two sixes, so it was quite aggressive. Jason Holder, uh, one ball, um, zero runs. The West Indies, they have. A, a blueprint if you, if you would like to call it that they are not using up too many balls whether they are going to make a lot of runs or not they are not using up too many balls and they are coming in coming out and giving another man a shot West Indies bat first they scored 176 from 7 with, in, in 20 overs England they scored 166 for 7 in 20 overs towards the end there it started to look like a nail biter because there were some sixes. Andre Russell last over was a very difficult over. It, it, it was too much for England to come back in that last over. But it was a difficult over to watch because 
they still felt like they could win. They only needed 27 runs from a over, which was very like, was, which was manageable, and they brought it down to 10 runs. So the West Indies won by only 10 runs after having such a dominant performance. Mohamed Ali, 22, hitting two sixes and a four towards the end, and Rian Ahmed, 10 runs, three balls. So you see how aggressive he was, getting a four and a six. With a strike rate of 333.3. It was a good match overall for the West Indies. West Indies, you can see that they are playing their win their way in. Alzari Joseph another again had, had another three wicket performance. Andre Russell came up big with the with the ball in the first match. Not so much in this match, but we are seeing some consistency. Alzari Joseph, three wicket in the first match. Three wicket in this match. Now he's the leading wicket taker, I think, in the entire series, which is good for Alzar Joseph. But we have to also see show um show respect to Akil Hussein. He's in he's in the wickets as well. So he's showing that he's a very capable T20 batsman. Overall, the West Indies versus England. It's I wouldn't even want to say it's a very balanced tournament at this point we know what england is capable of we know the kind of caliber batsman or batsmen they have we know that their bowling is not so far the west indies somehow they are doing something right and before i wanted to say that before i was asking how did the west indies get it right how did they put together a team that was gelling and was working together so well and merrick again merrick Meredith, big up yourself once again he said Darren Sammy is doing something right and we cannot ignore the valuable effort of the coach because the coach is a gel. He's, he's bringing the, the team together. We have Shea Hope, Nicholas Puran and Ravman Paul on the same team. For a lot of people of, throughout the Caribbean, they would be saying that we already have a captain in Nicholas Puran. Why do we need any of these guys? Now, Nicholas Puran is not the captain. Shea was not the captain. Ravman Powell, which probably would not make any other team. But this team is the captain and the team is doing well. This takes a lot of people, person, skill. This takes interpersonal skills. And that's where the captain and the coach comes in. The coach is definitely doing something right behind the scenes. Drop a comment down below. If you want to make your comment to be highlighted in the next video, we could use it as a conversational piece, as a, as a, a bridge in the conversation. How do you feel about the West Indies going up against England in this one? The West Indies going up against England is, is refreshing for the West Indies. And I'm sure England is not enjoying what's happening, but they must be happy that the West Indies is putting up a good fight. So whenever they win, or if they ever win, they're going to enjoy that victory. It's not going to be that frustrating victory. Like we know we're going to win. The West Indies are just rolling over and playing dead. And it's just not feeling fun. No. The West Indies right now. Is driving fear in everybody that is watching. And for the fans. Everywhere. Who believe in the West Indies. They're happy. I am happy. How about you? Drop your comment down below. And let me know what you think. The next outcome will be when the West Indies go up against India on Saturday. If they bat first, what total would you expect? And if they bat second, what outcome do you expect? Do you think this, the West Indies will win? And what total should we expect from that match? Where do you see the series going? I just need your observation, your analysis, and your perspective in this one. Rewrite the narrative. Like, share, and subscribe.